Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, I got something going on here I want to show you. It's something I constructed today. It's my water catchment system. And this will be uh, something that we use to water our garden and uh, things like that. Uh, not really intended for drinking water. I mean, but you know, push come to shove, it can be boiled and uh, used and everything. Uh, what I got going on here is I've got that flex pipe right there and you can buy all this at your local hardware. The barrel, I'll give you some information about that in a minute. Had to put a drain on it. Uh, that's not too difficult. And we built this platform here and I have a backward lean on this thing just a little bit, you know, just in case something happens and, you know, if it's gonna fall like like for it to just lean up against the house. Uh, I'm up on a ladder, so I'm gonna step down here, y'all. Might get a little shaky. All right, now this barrel is a 55 gallon barrel. And I don't do Facebook, my wife does, and she found these on there. It has a locking lid. Uh, which you really kind of need if you're going to add a drain like that uh, We got these barrels are 30 bucks a piece 55 gallons uh, It's about the best deal we could find on them. You got that piece of flex pipe on top that runs you about 15 bucks uh, Give or take uh, Just depend on the length and everything that you get uh, You take your existing uh, drain off of your gutter that comes down the side of your house and that's where you're going to attach it to you've got this the valve here uh, i don't have any water in it but we did we did put water in it and test and we did have a small leak which i think we've got fixed now but i don't have any water in it now but anyway you just you know turn this as you need it you know turn it off and on and i've got a uh, sealer around it which i would very much advise do because these connectors right here uh, that's a large threaded piece of plastic and you'll cut your hole in your barrel and you'll get that in there you want to get it as tight as you can uh, I got lucky and got mine to where I could actually turn it and create threads with it as I was screwing it in uh, it's reverse threaded so you have to turn it the opposite direction and inside this is another piece that screws on top of it and it's got a rubber o-ring but now keep in mind those are made for a flat surface and this is a curved area you know so you're going to need to put some sealer on there to make it seal uh you you probably won't get a perfect seal without doing that it will leak uh so i would just put that on there and be ready for it and you know just use whatever particular type you got uh, the wood we got here, this here is some salvage wood that I had. Now these two by fours here, and these four by fours I had to buy, uh, along with those two by fours. And these here uh, patio blocks, is uh, column footers, whatever you wanna call them. Now the price run down on these, it's just gonna depend on your area. These things, they run about 10, 11 bucks a piece. The wood, Everything I've got here is probably about uh, $170, give or take. Uh, now, let me back up so you can get the full view of it. Uh, now, it's going to depend on your area. And this is not really intended to save money on a water bill. The intention of this is to have storable water for times when you may need it for your garden, uh, your, your pets. Uh, you know, I wouldn't have a problem giving this to my chickens, my dogs, or my cats. And we can screw a garden hose on that. And with, with it being full and it flowing down like that, you've got about a six foot drop and then it goes downhill from there and it'll be used to water this garden. Uh, you're not going to get a strong pressurized flow by no means but it is a way that you can have usable water for your garden or other needs you can hook a garden hose up to it and you can transport the water via garden hose to the garden spot uh, like i say it, it it's not intended to save money so don't 
don't be doing it for that purpose because you're probably not it would take you uh a good long time to recuperate that kind of money probably a year or two uh depending on what your water cost is, is. i know on mine it would probably be the water i would the money i would save on using the water yeah, I, I wouldn't come into a cost benefit for probably two years at least but like i say that's not why i done it i did it to have storable water uh this is not going to be the only one i build i've got enough supplies to build one more and it'll be on the other corner of the house and it'll take care of the other gardens i have on that side so y'all you know this is something to look at this is something that you know it's not that hard to do just kind of plan it out and it will take you know several hours to build and it, it, that's all there is to it uh you know, it's it's something that i think that any prepper that's really planning on you know having a storable water source this is a good way to go y'all you ain't gonna waste your drinking water you'll have rain water as long as it rains and uh that that that's it man so y'all have a good day stay low stay ready